everybody. Diamonds by Tita here. Hey, thanks so much for stopping by and hanging out with me. Because I'm going to do a um, kit up and chat with you. I am going to kit up War Pony. Um, so, first of all, I want to welcome everybody in. Thanks so much for coming again. If you are returning, welcome back. If you are brand new, welcome in. Uh, again, appreciate each and every one of you. And if you've been watching for a while and you enjoy my channel and you like the content, there's a red button right down here on the lower right hand side or right up here somewhere. <laughs> um, and just go ahead and click on that button and you can subscribe to my channel. Um, drop me a comment, give it a thumbs up, all the kind of good stuff that you need to do. I know you don't need to do it, but it would be certainly wonderful if you did. Woo! Okay, let's get going, all right? Boy, am I tired, and I'll tell you all about it. First of all, I want to show you this beautiful war pony. It's a 56 by 71 centimeter. This is a diamond art club, um, and I'm doing it for my sister. Um, this is for her birthday that was back in January. Eee! Boy, I need to get going on it, don't I? Um, but again, it's a diamond art club. It is by Lori uh, Prindle. And again, 56 by 71. It has 32 colors. And it looks like there are two ABs in it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started. I already have the labels on the bottles, which will help me time-wise, because I don't want to keep you here forever. Because um, sometimes these kit ups can take a little while. So um, now Diamond Art Club, if you're not familiar with them, um, they do their drills by weight. They don't go in order like, you know, one through 32. Um, they all go in order. And like, for example, this is um, a uh, an AB or a Aurora Borealis. And it is 141 on the DMC code. And it's number two. So I am going to go ahead and that over there. I'm going to put this in here. And I always put a tray underneath it because I'm a messer and I can spill the drills. Okay, so there is number two. <coughs> I'm drinking a little bit of coffee. Um, this afternoon, although it's really warm right now. It's probably, I don't know, 72, 73 outside. Um, my dog is already outside. She's so happy that it's warm and it's sunny. Uh, she's barking at the neighbor's dog. Um, she's being, she's having some fun out there. But um, man, I've had a busy day. Let me go ahead and cut this one. Now this is number 922, excuse me, 992. It's this um, beautiful kind of um, tealy greeny color. I still don't know why my camera does not want to autofocus. I need to look at, look at that. Oh, I guess it's probably trying to autofocus down below. Here we go. Um, and that is color 20 or number 23, symbol A. But yeah, this morning um, I got up early and I baked a cake and I baked some brownies. Um, it is, we had um, the family over for my daughter's birthday celebration and also my um, brother in law. Really, he's more like a brother. He's not. He is my brother-in-law, yes, but I consider him my brother. I've known him since I was like four years old. I've known him my whole life. Um, so that was pretty cool. So yeah, I got up and I baked. And I messed up, though. My um, daughter-in-law, she um, is gluten-free and dairy-free, so I was making gluten-free brownies, 
And I know she's dairy free. And this is again, really, really early in the morning. And um, I was out of oil. So I said, I oh, you know I can substitute. I'm just gonna melt some butter and we'll substitute that. And away I go. Well, dough, you know, that's dairy. She can't have that. Um, so I now have a batch of brownies to eat. Fuzz on here. Hang on. There we go. So yeah, so I did that, and then I did a little bit more cleaning since everybody was coming over. There is a really pretty red. Get this to, again to focus. There we go. It's not liking to focus in. It wants to focus in on the war pony down below. So. Um, Anywho, that's number eight. Sometimes it's hard to do this and pay attention and talk at the same time. Um, but then when everybody came over, well, after I did that, you know, I cleaned and I did the baking this morning and took a shower and got ready for church. Okay, so I want to show you something. I've got static in these, and I wanna show you the simplest way to get rid of static, okay? And I should have had my static guard here. Um, so what I need to do real quick is I just need to pause you for just a moment so I can get my stuff, and then I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay, hang on. Okay, I'm back, everybody. So I'm gonna be using static guard, and you're gonna find this where your um, like where your dryer sheets are in the store, if you haven't used it, and I'm also going to use some Q-tips. So the easiest way to do this is just just spray it on your Q-tip like that, and I am going to run it around in the bag here like this. Just go up and down the sides of it. Just just go all over around in it, okay? And then I also will run it around in the jar a little bit. Oops, knocking over that. And the static just magically goes away. It works amazing. It's the quickest way to get rid of static. Um, I used to use dryer sheets, um, but I find that the static guard works a lot faster I can't take credit for this idea. I don't know where it came from. I did learn it from Lazy Retired Granny. Um, and it has a really nice scent. This one's fresh linen, but it's got a real, real nice scent. Um, so yeah, that's the fastest way. And Static, you know, it's not the company's fault. Static happens to all companies. Uh, at least I found, in, this is my opinion, I'm not a static expert by any means, um, but from what I understand when I googled this, is that static tends to happen more in winter when um, there is less humidity. Because you can also, the other trick, if it's just a little bit of static, you can just blow your, your breath in the bag like that, just blow, blow in the bag. Um, and that all often will remove the static as well, if it's just a little bit. Um, but if you have a lot of static, like I said, just use a static guard. It works really, really good. Or you can also cut up dryer sheets um, and put them in the bottles. And the dryer sheets do work for me. Um, they just take longer. Um, they're just not quite as fast. So, um, so anyway, that's my tip with static. And again, I don't know why it happens or what. I don't know why some bags have them and some don't, but I just roll with my static guard. All right, so getting back to my day. So I bake the cake really good. I make I just made a, um, uh, just a chocolate cake, a box cake. It was, I don't know if it was Betty Crocker or 
um, I don't know, one of those. And um, I add milk to it and the melted butter instead of the oil. And it just kind of makes it a little bit better than if you use the water that they suggest and the oil. Um, I like it with the butter and and the milk better. And then um, I love uh, buttercream icing. So I made homemade buttercream icing. If you guys have never made it, it is super easy to make. Um, because I don't like the the uh, the kind of frosting that comes in the can, you know. To me, it just doesn't taste all that good. So when you make homemade buttercream icing, I'm pretty sure I'm getting the the amounts right. Um, you take one third cup of butter, and that needs to be softened. And I like butter, not margarine. Um, and you use a pound of powdered sugar and probably about three tablespoons of milk and a teaspoon or two of vanilla, whatever your, your taste is on that. And um, you will beat it uh, with a mixer. Oh, this one's got static in it. Boy, we got lots of static in this one. So let me spray this again. Spray that. Oh, and I didn't mention, spray your t your tray too. If you are diamond painting, you know, just, just spray your tray a little bit. So again, I just, I sprayed the Q-tip and I'm just gonna, well, you can just kind of see me just like running it around in the bag. Got to kind of get it all in there, just run it all around. If it's super, super bad, you may need to do this twice, but usually not. Okay, so this is 666, and that is number 15. But you can see the static is all gone now. I'm just pouring that in the bag. And so you can see it's super easy to get rid of static. All right, so um, yeah, getting back to the frosting. Boy, brain, brain, brain. Um, go ahead, like I said, it's one pound of sugar, a third of a cup of butter, that's almost a full stick, not quite. Um, about three tablespoons milk and then some vanilla. And you just you just beat it with your mixer. And whether that is a kitchen aid mixer or uh, this one's got static too, so I'm gonna spray it. And I'm just spraying it away from my computer because my computer's out there and I don't wanna spray it. So again, I'm just just, you know, mixing it up like this with it. And I'll run it around in, in here, and then that's done. So anyway, mix it till it's the consistency that you like, and um, that, will, that will do um, a sheet pan. Like I do a 9 by, what is it, is it a 9 by 13 pan? That's what I usually bake the cake in. If it says that it will do a layer cake, like a two layer cake, but I find I, I do more because I like more frosting in it. Oh, lots of, man, lots of static. So we are definitely gonna be working on the static here. So I, again, so I, I did my homemade frosting and everybody loves it. And then my son is a big kid. He has to have sprinkles on his cake. So I put sprinkles on it. Sorry, I had to take a little sip of coffee. 3776 is 27. Oh, 
Um, so yeah, so everybody came over after church. It was like about 1.30 or so, and um, we had a nice, a nice chat. My daughter-in-law wasn't able to come. She was down south visiting her mom, so I didn't have to worry about my brownies that um, <laughs> I didn't make, or I did make, but it had the dairy in it, so I didn't have to worry about it. Um, but yeah, we sat around and talked and, um, I got, my daughter is really into diamond painting now. So I got her the new diamond, diamond art club. I can't remember what the name of it is, but it's the new cat. Um, the really bright color cat. Uh, I also got it. Um, and I will do an unboxing of that coming up. Um, because I want that to be Larry's friend. If you remember Larry the cat. So, um, so she loved it. And then, do you guys remember, um, it was a while ago, I got, well, maybe not a while ago, a month or so ago, um, I got a Doctor Who clock um that was made out of a record like a a vinyl record and it was cut out it had the TARDIS and it had the doctor and it had a Dalek um on it well he loves Doctor Who too so I got him one as well 3861 this is X and uh he loved it and then my daughter again so this is my daughter's birthday too is my daughter and my brother-in-law birthday she loves uh hot fudge sundaes so i got her vanilla ice cream and um, mrs richardson's hot fudge because uh, that's her favorite so i got that and um 356 this is number 11 And eleven. So yeah, we had a we had a great time this afternoon, and this was the first time that um, everybody had seen my craft room since I since I put up all the pictures in it, all my paintings, and so they really liked all my all my paintings. They thought that was pretty cool. Oh, I still got a that's got a little teeny weeny bit of static in it. And I'm gonna just run it around in there. Isn't that amazing how quick and easy that the static guard gets rid of the static? Just it's like just like magic. Yeah, just like magic. Okay, so what else did I do? Oh, I know what I didn't tell you guys about. Oh my gosh, I was so mad last night. This is a little bit of my rant. I normally don't do rants. I normally don't bitch and complain or anything like that, but I think I am justified in this one. So I crawled into bed, I don't know, like I crawled into bed early last night, about eight-ish, and I was gonna watch some YouTube and, um, um, you know, just watch a little TV, you know, and then go to bed because I knew I had to be up early. And um, they were shooting off fireworks. Why? Is it because it was St. Saint Patrick's Day Eve? I don't know. But it wasn't, again, it wasn't just like normal firecrackers or, oh, that's got lots of static. Hang on. I got to spray this. Um, it was very loud. And, you know, my dog, Gracie, she is petrified of, petrified of the fireworks. And um, she was scared to death. She was hiding everywhere. Um, so I had to go out and I had to go get the kennel because I had it, you know, in the garage. Since I didn't know fireworks were coming, I, uh, you know, hadn't given her any medication to help her through this. But she seems to settle down pretty well in the kennel. So I got her in the kennel. 
fireworks lasted, I don't know, probably until at least midnight. Um, and they were the big, I don't know, I call them mortars. They're more than just um, the Roman candles. That's number 30. So needless to say, I was not a happy person at all. I don't know why people do that. And then my sister's dog, who she doesn't really get scared um, of fireworks. Now, my sister lives just literally down the street. I can walk to her house. It's about a five-minute walk. Um, and and her dog, it's a big uh, lab and um, pit bull mix. Oh, this has got... Got static in here too, so hang on. Gotta spray it again. I just give it a little spray each time. Um, anyway, so she doesn't get too scared, but she likes to kind of be on patrol for both my sister and her husband. So Bev was in bed, and um, my brother in law was in the living room watching TV, and she couldn't watch like both of them at the same time. So she would go back and forth between the bedroom and the living room, bedroom and living room, bedroom and living room. Um, so, uh, oops, here's 310. So she was upset all night long. My dog was upset all night long, all because these stupid people, I'm sorry, I shouldn't say that. That's really not very... That isn't very nice or anything like that, is it? Um, oh, goodness. Got more static in this one. Let me just run it through here. So you can just see me just getting rid of the static. Again, it's just like magic. And I'm going to run it in here like that a little bit. I have dropped all these three tins over here. Let me pick them all up. So anyway, that's a little bit of my rant. If you guys are going to shoot off fireworks, please think of the animals that you're scaring. And around here, I mean, it's not so much now because, you know, it's we're just coming out of winter. But, you know, we live in a wildfire area. You know, forest fires. So... Um, people can be setting stuff on fire, which is just not very bright. So anyway, so that's that. Thanks for indulging me in a little bit of a rant. Like I said, I usually don't do that. I usually try to find a solution to the problem. Oh, did you see that? Did you see that? I am president of Spill Your Drill Club. Yep, Spill Your Drill Club, that's me. President, founding member. At least this one, though, is all on the plastic, so I can just pick this up really quick and put it away. That's all right. So anyway, yep, I am the founding member of Spill Your Drill. You know, I was, one time I spilled my drills and I had pulled probably half the cover sheet off and it went all on the glue. Oh, it took me forever to, um, to pick all those up. So anyway, getting back to what I said, I hope you guys can follow my squirrel thoughts. Um, when there's an issue or anything like that, I really try to bring a solution to the table. I don't like to complain about something unless I can bring a solution. But there really is no solution, I don't, I don't think, because I don't know who's doing this. I can't find the house. If I knew what the house was, I would probably go and talk to them. Um... You know, and say, and just let them know what the fireworks are doing to my dog and ask them to stop. Because they might. I mean, 
Maybe, oh, that one's already filled up. I've got two of these. Okay. Um, Because I find, you know, most people are actually pretty understanding. I mean, I know you're going to have a few people that are going to not be very nice and do whatever they want to do. But like I said, I really try to bring a solution to the table. There's no sense in complaining if you can't bring a solution. Oh, and this has got static on here too. These last few drills have some static. So I've got just a few. I'm just trying to get these little static guard on them. Okay, I need to spray a little bit more on there because I need to kind of put it in here like that. There we go. Okay, so that takes care of 300. And here's another 300 I can just put away. I'll put my extra ones in there. Oh, and I need to get a little bit of tape because I know that's all not going to fit fit in there. So hang on one second. I got to go get the tape. All right. Thanks for being patient with me. Boy, it's such a nice day. I... I hear people um, mowing their yards outside. Sounds like a leaf blower's out there right now. Oh, lots of static. Oh, lots of static. Holy, holy smokes. I don't know if you can see that very well, but we got tons of static. Let's see if I can get, this is a big bag. I might need to do this a couple times because it's pretty full. And changing gears a little bit. Again, you know me, I like to talk all over the place with my squirrel thoughts. I am... Um, was watching, um, I, I like to watch ghosts. It's, it's not like a ghost show, like, like a scary ghost show. It's a sitcom. And it is on, it's on Paramount Plus, I think. Um, anyway, I really like it. It's been renewed for a fourth season. So I got to watch it. Uh, must have been in the middle of the night, probably when I couldn't sleep since Gracie was upset. Um, but anyway, I watched it and it was really good. And I watched an episode of NCIS. I'm starting NCIS from season one forward. So that was good. Um, yep, that was good. Eight ninety eight. Eight ninety eight. All right, here's this one. And when I was cleaning today, you know, I was vacuuming and you know, I do a lot of diamond painting um on my kitchen table in addition to the craft room. So I've got multiple whips uh, going. There we go. Anyway, um, I was vacuuming underneath my dining room table, so I can't talk and chew bubble gum at the same time. Boy, I dumped all these brown drills. I've got all of these. 
I made a mess already. Anyway, getting back to my story. I vacuumed up so many drills on the floor. I couldn't believe it. Had so many. I don't know how I could be so messy. Between drills and dog hair. I'm getting there. Lots of browns in this war pony, isn't it? If you guys have other ways on static, let me know. I mean, I have tried, people have said, you know, put them in your freezer that that's helped. I, it hasn't helped me, at least in my area. Maybe it helps where you guys are at, but I have not found freezing them to help. I found this static guard to be the absolute fastest. I, I love to hear a lot of tips. I learn a lot from you guys. Yeah, if you hear that trimmer that's going outside, sorry, but I've got the window open because um, the dog's outside. She's enjoying it so much, laying in the sun. And she's feeling so much better after, you know, her teeth have been pulled and her, um, her eye, her eye is looking really good, the eyelid. The stitches have all dissolved, so it all looks totally normal now. Um, oops, I'm dropping drills. Um, so she's doing great. Oh, and today, you know, I'm sorry, I am totally um, not thinking. Today is St. Patrick's Day, it's Sunday, March 17th. So I want to wish everybody a happy St. Patrick's Day if you are celebrating. Um, I wanted to make corned beef and cabbage, and I just, time just got away from me, and I didn't get a chance to do it, but I love corned beef and cabbage. It is so yummy. I love it. So are you guys, cel or did you celebrate? Because I know you're going to watch this after St. Patrick's Day. You'll have to let me know. And let me know how you make your corned beef. Do you do it in the crock pot or do you do it in the oven? Or I usually do mine in the crock pot. And I like um, lots of cabbage. I love cooked cabbage. Anything with cabbage I love. Like uh, when I was on Weight Watchers years ago, they have this uh, cabbage soup. Oh man, is it good. Um, it is absolutely delicious. If I remember right, it's cabbage and I think carrots and um, celery, onions. I can't remember what else. Um, and it ha and you do you cook it in beef broth, if I remember right. Don't hold me to this because I'm going by memory from a long time ago. Um, and then you use some Italian seasoning in it. Oh, it is, it is heavenly. It is so good. But I love cooked cabbage. Yeah, it's delicious. We have um, an Irish pub here in town and uh, they have got a nice restaurant too with it. And um, there we go. Lots of, lots of static again. Anyway, and their corned beef and cabbage is delicious. I bet you they will be very busy tonight. Oh goodness, I am spilling these all over. I didn't get all the static out. I thought I did. That's all right.
Let me just pour these in here. Alrighty, here we go. There's that one. Almost done, guys. Almost done. What else can I talk to you about? Um, I told you about the birthday party, which was fun. Oh, I know. Um, I made, you know, I mentioned this before about asking for prayers for one of my family members that has breast cancer. Um, and her surgery is Tuesday, this coming Tuesday. Um, so if you can please keep her in your prayers, um, I would so greatly appreciate it. It's a very um, rare and aggressive form of cancer, but the doctors are all saying that they caught it early so that it's good, but it's still, it's still very scary. And, I, and for everybody that's been praying, I so greatly appreciate it. Or if you're the non-praying type, if you would at least, you know, give some, you know, positive thoughts and vibes, that would be amazing as well. We've got a pretty awesome, you know, diamond painting and crafting community taking care of each other. So I will be there. Surgery starts at, I think, it is 8 in the morning. And um, I don't think I'm going to get there too much before 8 because I know I can't go in the back um, to be with her because only one person can be in the back. Let me get a new key to Again, just, we've got so much static in here. See all that static? And again, I'm just swirling this around. Again, big bags like this, sometimes you have to do it a couple times because there's just so many drills. Let's see, we're almost done here. What else is going on? I don't know, I lead kind of a, you probably hear this from a lot of creators, I lead kind of a boring life. I mean, I, um, I diamond paint, I work on cleaning the house, I work full time, so that takes a lot of I already have that one. I don't need to do that one. We've got all these extra drills. Do I have 372 also? 3772? 3772. Nope. But I thought I had 301. Hang on a minute. 301. Nope. I don't have that one either. So I've got, I think I told you guys before, I've got a lot of content coming. I'm trying to get, I've got quite a few PR packages I need to get done. So I need to get those finished up for you guys. And then I've got some whipping chats I need to do. But I wanted to get this kid up and chat done because, um, again, this was for my sister's birthday. That was in January. I think I'm going to get it done by next January. And I love this war pony. I don't, you know, I think I told you this before. 
So sorry if I'm repeating myself. I um, can just kick myself for not ordering it. I wanted this. And then there's a couple of other horses by the same artist that um, I want as well. So I'm waiting for them to come back in stock. I'm waiting for the horses to come back in stock and I'm waiting for the Crystal Hummingbird from Diamond Art Club. I love that. It is spectacular. Yeah, it's really, really pretty. So when those come back, I will get it. I'm I'm really not buying, um, I mean, I am set with premiums. I really am. Unless they're kind of some of my unicorns or ones that I have had on my wish list for a while. I'm not buying too much. But having said that, I did buy the cat, the colorful cat that just came out, that new release. And I'll be opening that one up as well as the Spangler. Um, I can't remember what the name of it is. It's the one where the dogs are all in a Christmas tree. They look like they're shaped like a Christmas tree. I got that on, as a mystery pack or a mystery painting that was half price. And I was really excited to get that one. I'm sorry this is going a little bit long. I hope I'm not boring you too much. I hope you have been diamond painting or, um, you know, maybe you're cleaning more like a, like a blog or something that I'm doing. Or um, What I was thinking I was going to do, speaking of, you know, listening, because most of the time I'm diamond painting as I'm listening to my creator friends. And now that the weather's nice, I was thinking I'm gonna go out on a on a walk um, and listen to you guys as I walk. And a lot of, you know, whipping chats are, you know, around 30 minutes or so. So that would be a, a, a real nice uh, walk, a 30 minute walk. So I was kind of thinking about doing that. Almost done, guys. Just a few more. Let's see. This is 938. Okay, I don't need two of them. I only need one of them. And it's got static, too. you guys about. I'm running out of stuff. Well, I'm not very hungry for dinner since I had cake and ice cream and ice cream with hot fudge. Man, talk about having dessert before dinner. I mean, they all came over at 1.30, so technically it was after lunch, but still. Um... So yeah, I'm, I don't think I'm gonna really have any dinner. Or if I do, maybe just something really, really light. I think I've got some salad fixings to make. I mean, I like salads. I like salads with a lot of, um, a lot of veggies in it. But, you know, my preference is to have homemade ranch. I love homemade ranch. I would much rather have that for salad dressing. I'm not a big Italian dressing lover. Love ranch. Just 
two more guys, two more. 3860. So again, I hope you kind of enjoyed this a little bit, at least kind of hearing them, what stuff is going on. I, um, I need to get going diamond painting tonight. I haven't worked on Twilight Flight all week. I just, you know, I don't know what it was. I just, I needed a break from big paintings. So that's why I've been doing, you know, a lot of partials and um, I have a 30 by 30 completion that I need to show you guys too. I need to, I need to get that. In fact, I even found the frame for it when I was thrifting. It was a couple bucks, so that was amazing that I found the frame for it and everything. Okay, last one, 939, pretty navy. Where is 939? There it is. Get the static out of this one. This is the last one. Will it all fit? Oh, I think so. Just missed a couple drills here. There we go. So they are all done. These are all finished. That is great. So thanks a lot, guys, for hanging out with me. Um, I hope the static guard was a, a good tip for you guys. Um, again, this is War Pony that I'll be doing. Hopefully I can start on it soon. Um, but I needed to get it kitted up um, so that I can start it. I am, I've kind of been doing, I don't know if you watched Becky with Diamond, Becky's Diamond Bling. Um, she's working on several paintings at a time and that's kind of what I've been doing. Um, I have three spots of diamond paint. I've got my craft room which can hold um, a big 60 by 80 painting on my work surface. Um, my dining room table can hold a big 60 by 80. Um, and then I do the small paintings actually on like a little uh, TV tray, a small table, um, like in, when I'm sitting in my recliner um, or, you know, I can even do that in bed. Uh, so I've got three. Um, at the moment, I'm probably doing two small and one big at a time, um, but that's kind of where I'm at. So thanks so much, guys. Again, I'm sorry this is so long. Um, I hope that I kept you company. So take care, everybody. Remember, you're perfect exactly as you are. You don't have to be perfect to be amazing. And do one thing today that your future self is going to thank you for. So take care. Um, Hugs to you all, and uh, you have a great uh, great day or evening, whatever time zone you're in, okay? Okay, bye, everybody.